Hello and welcome to the Sigma Excel video tutorials. In this video we cover using Levine's test in Sigma Excel. Levine's test for multiple group comparison of variances is less powerful than Bartlett's test which we've covered in a previous video, but is robust to the assumption of normality. Note that this is a modification of the original Levine's test, sometimes referred to as the Brown-Forsyth test, that uses absolute deviations from the median, or ADM. To run this test, we'll be using a sample data set found within Sigma Excel called Customer Data. To open Customer Data, click Sigma Excel, Help, Sample Data, and then find the file customerdata.xlsx. This data file contains customer survey data using a Likert scale of 1 to 5, with 1 being very dissatisfied and 5 very satisfied. Survey results were averaged to obtain non-integer results. To run Levine's test, click Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, Equal Variance Tests, Levine. Ensure that stack column format is checked. Select Responsiveness to Calls, click Numeric Data Variable, Y. Select Customer Type, click Group Category X. Clicking OK will provide us with Levine's test for equal variance for responsiveness to calls. The Levine's test p-value of 0.01 .01 tells us that we reject null hypothesis. At least one pairwise set of variances are not equal. The normality test p-values indicate that all three groups have non-normal data. P-values are less than 0.05. And since Levine's test is robust to the assumption of normality, it is the correct test for equal variances, rather than Bartlett's test. If the equal variances test is only being used to test the assumption for use in ANOVA, then it is not necessary to examine the multiple comparison of variances. However, in the context of a process improvement project, we often do want to know which groups are significantly different. This can give us important clues to identify opportunities for variance reduction. The default multiple comparison of variances is a matrix of Levine pairwise probabilities. In this example, customer type 1 versus customer type 2 shows a significant difference in variance. Press F3 or click Recall Sigma Excel dialog to recall the last dialog box. Click Options. Select two key ADM, absolute deviations from median. Check display anom Levine robust variances chart. Click OK. The multiple comparison of variances is a matrix of two key ADM probabilities. The one versus two P value is significant, but larger than the Levine pairwise because it adjusts for the family wise error rate. Click the Anom Levine Sheet tab to display the Anom chart. The Anom chart clearly shows customer type 1 having significantly higher variance than overall, and customer type 2 has significantly lower variance. The varying decision limits are due to the varying sample sizes for each customer type, with smaller sample size giving wider limits in a manner similar to a control chart. If the data are balanced, the decision limit lines will be constant. Now that we have determined that the variances are not equal, we are presented with a problem if we want to test for equal group means. Classical ANOVA assumes that the group variances are equal, so shouldn't be used. A modified ANOVA called Welch's ANOVA is robust to the assumption of equal variances and is demonstrated in another video. This concludes the Levine's test tutorial video. For more videos, go to our website at www.sigmaxcel.com or join us at our YouTube page. Thank you for watching.